that. That was a bad move on your part. You are so dead. Say goodnight, Gracie. Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy, Amy. And uh, in this episode, we are going to get started in earnest with uh, getting some uh, research going and some modifications going. Uh, I've had several of you guys tell me in the comments um, to that it would be a good idea to get going on this. And probably the, the most um, mentioned research in the comments is to do the chassis because that makes the ships faster and more maneuverable, which certainly makes sense. But we'll probably end up doing all of them. Uh, before we get started with that, though, just a quick update on, you know, what's going on here. So I've spent a lot of time off camera um, just running SETA, managing the Empire, and our shipyard is well underway here. So let's take a quick look at this first. If we go to uh, plan build, uh, you can see that the top level is pretty much, if not entirely, built. Uh, so the, so this top level here, these are all of the, uh, what we'll call the second tier products that are needed to build the actual ships themselves. So, you know, that includes hull parts and engine parts and um, antimatter converters, weapon components, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and then I also have a small medium ship fabrication bay uh, built here as well. I could not, uh, I, I cannot actually afford at this time the blueprints for the large and extra large uh, ship manufacturing base. They're just so incredibly expensive. So we're going to have to wait and build up some money before we can buy those. But we, we are able now, with one exception, which we'll talk about in a second, we're actually able now to start manufacturing small uh, and even, well, small ships mostly because of the blueprints that I have. Um, and then, so this next layer here is the tier one products. So these are going to be things like refined metal and silicon wafers and graphene and so on and so forth to feed these uh, upper end products. But, I mean, I have all this stuff already being made, or, or most of it anyways, being made in the depot and at the headquarters. So I, I can haul them and even have, to some extent, haul that product here so I can start building ships right now. But the thing that's holding me up is that if you look into the third tier, all the way at the bottom here, we have the Terran stuff. So we have the micro lattice production, silicon carbide, and computronic substrate. And the reason I have that stuff there is because I'm using Terran shields, and later on when we uh, start manufacturing our own Osakas, and eventually, hopefully, the Asgard, we're going to need those components as well. So we have a little Terran section at the bottom of our shipyard here. Uh, so there's still 231 modules left to build. And, you know, this this is not going to be the final build either. This is just to get us started. And then a, a, as we start to produce ships, and especially as the NPCs or the AI starts ordering from us, I'll have to keep an eye on, you know, what we're running out of. And based upon that, then I'll have to add more modules. But it's fully expandable, uh, both uh, sideways and vertically. And uh, so, you know, we'll just, I don't really know at this point how much to put on there. So I just put a sampling of everything on there and then uh, we'll expand as needed. We have plenty of room to do that. Definitely going to need more storage uh, too. I know that for sure. Okay. So anyway, that gives you an update on how the shipyard's doing. Um, let's see. I have, I've got the Raptor um, here in uh, Reaver's Fortune just patrolling right now. For some reason, my zooming's not working. Now it is. Um, but it's uh, so it's currently set with 40 she's on intercept, and I have a few. I have a few fighters um, she's set up with blast mortars, uh, but we're gonna need a lot more than this. And I at at present, I can't really afford to buy uh, as many of those that I want, so I'm just kind of waiting until I can start manufacturing them myself. Um, so that way it's not going to cost us any money. I do have the blue fact here. Let me, let's look at this too, just so you see what I am capable of doing at the moment. Sans the Terran shields. So if we actually go in into build ships, and I do, by the way, I did hire a ship sales manager person, ship seller. Um, I have the blueprint for both the Nodan Sentinel and the She Heavy Fighter. 
Um, and then with the Shi, I purchased the split Mark IV combat engine, um, the Mark III combat thrusters. I have the blueprints for the Terran shields, but I can't make them yet because we have to wait until we can start manufacturing Computronic substrate, micro lattice, and carbide there. Uh, so that's really what's holding us back. I have the blueprint for the blast mortar, the bolt repeater, the burst ray, and a torpedo launcher. All of these are Mark IIs. This is a Mark I because I don't see the point in a Mark II torpedo launcher. It costs 10 times as much and gives you, what, two more torpedoes? I mean, what the hell? <laughs> that's all it does. Um, so, unless I'm wrong about that. And then, you know, the rest of this stuff, oh, I do have blueprints for advanced satellites, satellites, nav beacons, resource probes, laser tower, Mark ones, mines, and so on and so forth. Uh, software just comes free with your own shipyard, so, you know, you might as well put the good stuff on because it doesn't cost anything. And then um, we don't really have crew yet until we start building, you know, habitation modules. Uh, so we're doing good here. I, I could go purchase, like, the say, the Talati shields so I can make, start making them right now, but... We don't really need to make them right now, um, so I, I've decided just to wait until we get to the point where we start manufacturing the Terran components so that we can just, you know, start any new builds with the Terran shields right from the get-go. Okay, so let's see here. Um, I think that's all I have to update you guys on. We're currently sitting with about 71.9 million in the wallet. Our net worth is... Uh, 2.3 billion um, so yeah we're doing good in that regard and yeah so I think that's it like I said to update John so let's go ahead and get started with some research okay so let's go to the research uh, area and uh, you guys uh, the the one uh, the mod that most people have mentioned in the comments is the chassis mod now we'll probably do all four of these inch and shield weapon but uh, let's go ahead and start with the chassis because it makes our ship faster and more maneuverable by virtue of becoming lighter. If we wish to improve the fundamental capabilities of a ship, we must first be able to tear it apart and put it together again. For that, we will need nanite technology. Okay. Nanites are quite regulated, but not illegal. I may, however, need to push them beyond usual operating standards in order to <laughs> achieve of our course. goal. I will direct you to a contact of mine. This is both He's quite skilled about. at moving restricted technology. Okay, so um, let's go to here, and we'll go to here. Ship modification research. Talk to Rylan uh, Rylan Kira. Deliver a nanite fabricator. Okay. So, this is active, right? Yeah, it's yellow. Oh, yeah, it's this place over here. Whoops. Rylan Kara. Yeah, okay. Um, so, let's head on over there and see what this Rylan individual has to to say to us. I guess we once we get in our ship, it'll already be marked. I was asked to drop my cargo. Trader 4 is being harassed. All right, for goodness sakes. Let's go to Trader 4. Deal with this first. Let's see what you got for me. I've got death for you. Let's grab all of our node ends. And where is this mopo at? Oh, he's way up here. Ah, okay. So let's have the fighters who are way too far away come after him. And we need to... You don't stand a chance. Autopilot disengage. Try and escape in the meantime. It might take a few hits, but hopefully we can get away from him. I'm going to do a little bit of strafing and spinning too because we're a little close. I guess I could have tried to dock, but now nah, we'll be fine. We got away from him. He's not going to get us now. That was a bad 
Yeah, that was a bad move on you, your part. You are so dead. Say goodnight, Gracie. Okay, let's head on over to talk to this Ryland dude. Hit that one right, but when you're going over 10,000 kilometers per second, sometimes it's <laughs> a challenge to do that. Oh, for goodness sakes! There we go, we got into it. Entering Grand Exchange, free. For the nanites? I'm here for the fabricator. Here you go. Deliver I owe the Boron a favor, so don't worry about the cost. Oh, okay. You do know it's illegal without the proper license, right? Um, don't get caught with it. Okay. I have the fastest ship in the freaking galaxy. Nobody's going to catch me. We haven't talked to Boso directly in a long time. Hello there. Hello there. Deliver. Give nanite fabricator. Now then, we should be able to begin our research. I look forward to seeing how this turns out. Okay, so now, what, we just have to wait probably for the research? Um, okay. Does this require stuff? See, like those do? Maybe the first one doesn't. Maybe it just required that thingy we just got. Okay, well, if that's the case, we might as well get started on some of the other ones, too. Uh, let's just go right down the list, because why not? Um. Oh, we can't do them. At, okay, we can't get s simultaneous ones going. All right, well, hmm. I guess, then, we hurry up and wait. <laughs> now, that's not going to actually take too long, so I think I'll cut the camera... And when this is finished, then we'll we'll take a look and see what has to happen for the next part. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, guys, I just got the message from Boso that he's finished uh, with the research. So um, we can either... This will allow you to construct much improved equipment modifications. We can either keep going on chassis or we can get started with the engine, shield, and weapon. I think... I think let's get all these going because it looks like once you do the initial mini mission, then the rest of it's just supplying the materials. Uh, so yeah, let's let's just keep working on these things here. To help us develop effective engine modifications, we must be sure to have the best in antimatter sensor technology. You may expect the best to come from the scientific world, but no, it was the racing leagues who pushed sensors to new heights. Racing, cool. Okay. To encourage new racing talent and investment in the sport, several challenges have been set up where you can prove your skills. The prize? Components for teams to incorporate into their racing craft, including the sensors we need. I will direct you to one of these locations. So it looks like we're going to go racing. Cool. Uh, we got the ship for it, that's for sure. Um, okay, so let's hop into... Uh, the Irakanji. Do, 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 do. Why can't I teleport to you? There we go. Irakanji. Irukanji. That's how the game pronounces it. Irukanji. This is essentially a time trial, so you will need a fast ship. Well, we got one of those, baby. Uh, okay, so here, <coughs> excuse me. So what do we do? Okay, so we go to that location, and then I guess the the race starts there. So let's do it.
Somehow I get the feeling like we are not going to have any trouble whatsoever meeting these uh, time trials in this ship. <laughs> position for you. You must simply reach the destination in the allotted time. Prepare yourself. I'm prepared. Go! Reach path to profit. And we're off. Very good work. I have submitted your results to the governing body of the sport. You can go and collect your prize. Talk to somebody, somebody, somebody. Totinus something, something, something. Okay, let's go. <laughs> That's what you call overshooting the target. Still trying to get used to this ship. He's moving along at a pretty good clip. Oh, so that so that's part of the deal. We gotta <laughs> gotta actually catch him. Danger. Alright, we're in his drag now. Greetings. I am here for the prize. Excellent. Here you go. Antimatter injection sensor. Hello there. Hello there. Deliver or give antimatter now injection then, sensor. We should be able to begin our research. I look forward to seeing how this turns out. Okay. So now we need to wait for 10 minutes. I'll bring you guys back when this one's done and then we'll start the next one. Okay, guys, we just got the message from Boso that he's finished with the research. Uh, so let's do shield research next. To best develop shield technologies, you must first understand warfare. We will need to submit a craft to the rigors of real combat. We will need data from several different weapon systems. As this is simply a fact-finding task, I implore you not to get killed. Um, okay. So... What exactly do you want me to do? Let's go look up, take a look here. Give us better insights when the great... What we could do... Da -da -da represent. So you expose your vessel's shields to a variety of weapons fire. A number of hits per weapon type should suffice. Gain data on three weapon types. So we got to go get shot by three different weapons, it looks like. Okay. Um. So let's see here. Why don't we... Why don't we hop over into Nopalios Fortune 2? Because there's always caulk in this system. In fact, there's one right there. And start with some Kion Beam Fire. I wonder, though, should probably not do this in the Irukanji because it's not very tough. Um, so probably our toughest ship that is reasonably maneuverable is our katana so why don't we I could take a, a destroyer but they're just super slow so katana hello there hello there okay I don't know if the Hydroguard has a... Oh, shit. I'm going to destroy that guy. Hold on. Um, let's uh, just disarm these for the moment. Uh, I don't know if the smaller cockchip has a different type of Kion beam than the bigger one. And if that would count... 
tap this dude. Get his attention. Come on, man. Come at me, bro. Come on, shoot me. Awaiting orders. All right, let me make my fighters. Took him out. Okay, hold on. We need to rein the fighters in, too. So, you guys remove all orders, and I just want you to follow me for the moment. Joining squad. Okay, let's see if we can get hit by this guy. Get me. Or the laser just blow you up. Why is it the one time I want these bastards to shoot at me, they won't do it? <laughs> what the hell, man? Oh, okay, we're getting hit. Do we, do we only need to get hit once, or do we have to get hit multiple times? Let's just let him hit us a few more times. I gotta think this is enough hits to count for the quest. Um, here, let me pause the game for a second. Does it give us an update of any sort here? Shield Fortitude Research. Oh yeah, it did. Okay. It did. Fantastic. Okay. So, we can shoot this guy now. Whoops. There's a station there. Is this an SCA ship? Pelican Sentinel. No, that's Talati Company. Okay, we want to fire on that. We could fire on the station and let a couple of the turrets hit us, I suppose. Okay. So is that going to fire at us now? Surely we're in range of that thing, right? Well, I guess it depends on what kind of turrets they put on there. Awaiting orders. Oh! We're sending plasma bolts after us now. I don't really want to get hit by one of those unless we have full shields. Okay. Let's bomb it Check the quest. Good. Okay, so it's been updated. Ooh. We have to get hit by a large plasma turret 48 more times? <laughs> I don't know if I like that idea. Um, if we switch to a different weapon type, will that... Um, you guys are still chasing us. Um, oh, okay. I was going to say, why are my fighters attacking the station? But they're not. They're attacking drones. Okay, we need to, to stop them from doing that because they're going to get hurt. So let's just pull them over to here. All right. Let's see if we can take a couple of plasma hits. I guess that disc there doesn't have any plasmas. There we go. Oh, okay. That's good enough. Let's go. You're done for. My guess is that if we went off and found something else that wasn't quite so dangerous that that would count too. We don't have to do plasmas. Yeah, let's let's go find something a little less dangerous to shoot, get shot at with. Um, because I I don't want to jump in a destroyer and come out here. It's just gonna take too long.
Um, okay, where else could we go find something to shoot at us? Um, we have, um, some dukes. Piratey pirate dudes in this sector. Oh, yeah, why don't we... Wait a second. Remove all orbs. Okay. Why don't we head down here and see if we can get a couple dukes for the pirates to come after us. Okay, let's um let's actually dock at our carrier and uh, get some repairs. Successfully docked. Instantaneous. Okay, now let's see if we can find a buck vessel that we can victimize. Uh, we could attack a station too, but we got to deal with the damn drones again. Where's all the ships? Okay, well, I guess that means we're going to need to go get shot by some Xenon. Looks like our defense tower is in good condition. Okay, so let's go into this frontier edge, which is a Xenon section. Entering um, system, frontier edge. Let's see if we can get this guy to shoot at us. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's, he's going to do very minimal damage, so we need to disarm these. I think that did the quest, because I can't hear it. It's really loud, but I think Bosa just said we're good to go. I, I'm pretty sure he just said we've completed it. So, yeah. Oh yeah, he is, okay. Awaiting orders. Okay. Let's head on out of here and we'll teleport back to our headquarters. And then uh, the weapons one is the final Entering one system. Do. The void. And Entering system. Grand exchange. As usual. And we'll bring you guys back when this is finished, and then we'll do the last one, basic weapon mods. All right, guys, Boso has told us he's uh, ready for the next one. Basic weapon mods. I suggest we acquire a number of particle regulators so I can better test weapon components in a controlled environment. Very well. I will use all of my past experience to deliver the best and safest improvements to weapon technologies. This place, however, is hardly a weapon development facility. Fortunately, I know where my split captors kept a cache of weapon equipment. Cache of weapon equipment. Okay, let's take a look and see what the deets are on this. Enhanced warfare research. Also, Toss suggests that these can be found a location once used by his former split captors. Number of particle regulators, find the split weapon cache. Okay. We have a, a little bit of damage on the ship. Hmm. Wonder how that happened. Um, you know what? The orc is in this system. Let's go. Let's go get fixed up. Docking granted. Success. 
successfully docked. There we go. What's in this area? Um, here, we probably better do this. Okay, so there's some lock boxes there. I'm just wondering if there are any mines, but I'm not sure what we need to be careful of. Okay, I'm a little concerned that this is, it's kind of framey. Um, it's not rotating smoothly, which could make this task a little difficult. Oh, stay right about here. Oh, now it's smooth. That was weird. That time we hit the container, fortunately we didn't blow it up though. Once you have what we need, feel free to destroy any... Bring the items to me and we can get started. He wants us to destroy the rest of it? Ha! I do wish to see the looks on their faces. <laughs> okay. Um aren't there more of these? Lockbox. What I don't understand is why he told us to be careful in this area. There's nothing to be not careful of here. Yeah, see this one's all glitchy again. I wonder if there's anything actually good inside of it. Let's see if we can. Once you have what we need, feel free to destroy anything which remains. So it looks like it's just got the particle regulator thingies in it. Okay. I'm going to assume that the other one does too. Lockbox. So since Boso is happy that we're destroying these, let's just keep our buddy happy. Uh, where are you? Right there. Okay. I'm going to teleport back, and the Irukandji can come back on its own. Grand Exchange. Hello there. Hello there. Now then, we should be able to begin our research. I look forward to seeing how this turns out. Cool. Okay. Thank you.